Now today is my last day here over the course of the evening. I'll be saying my goodbyes. And it gets hard because you built a family here, you built that vibe. Everyone's just so relatable. It's that concept in the world. We do things for other people, we expect something in return, vice versa. But with family, you just keep doing stuff for each other. You don't put no logical sentence behind it to say this is why I'm doing it. It just feels right. And then over here, this is the life that I've been living. There's people been doing so much for me. It's like on a day to day, they're looking out for me. And you know when you get a deep conversation, it's like you relate to someone in a whole new way. That whole motive they're going for in life, you start listening in on it. Everyone's just got a history behind them. Everyone's got a story. And that's what makes you relate to someone so much more. It's like, hey, listening to you has helped me find myself. I came here in 2014, but a Swami told me, come in such a way you don't need to go back. So in case you do end up staying here, there's no pullbacks. You know, a lot of us were just waiting for that one line told by someone that we respect or something like that. It just gives us that sense of direction and we push forward. Hopefully it covers all that lost aspect in our head. First, I was in that lost situation. That's one of the reasons I ended up in Ashram. It was like, oh, what's life going to be about? What do I need? What type of skills? Oh, let me just gather something so I'm all good, set for life. And maybe I could hear one of them one-liners told by someone that I respect, and then it would just click, and then I got a sense of direction, and life would be okay. Now, one Swami taught me last year, I came on the first day, I was like to him, wait, I want proper direction in my life. I want to just get going. I want some sort of build in my life as well. And then what he told me was, hey, it's like me teaching you how to drive a car whilst it's parked. There's no point me teaching you the steering, how to use the brake, using indicators whilst you're parked. Get going in life and watch this conversation go. And there's a reason why I don't get one-liners to go home with. A lot of me was used to this. A lot of me would just pull out quotes from Instagram, search one-liners on YouTube motivational videos or really just hunting down content. Now every conversation I've had with all these individuals, the dots start joining up. Questions can get answers. You could get plenty of answers. You could get plenty of variations in answers. But you know a question is answered when it feels answered. That's a whole different answer. It could be the same line. It could be coming from a different individual. Or it could just come at you at the right point in life. But when it feels answered, it feels embedded into your life. You don't feel lost anymore. And this whole thing about finding some sort of special, unique sentence or answer or some sort of logic and some mystic theory or something like that, all of that goes out the window because you feel the answers coming to you via some sort of experience or the way you've related to someone. It happens in different ways for everyone. But when it comes down to it, over here, every conversation I had, every individual that I live with, everything starts adding up. It starts building and you don't even know it's building. And this whole thing about when something feels like it's answered, that conversation you have with people after that, them type of Q&As, them type of situations, that comes about through experience. You start experiencing someone's vibe, you start seeing them, you start finding out their motive, you start looking at things the way they're looking at, you start seeing what they're seeing, you start opening your ears in the way they've opened their ears to the world, what they're listening to, what they're absorbing and why is that motive so strong inside of them you start seeing it and the way you relate to it is when you start doing these things in life the answers start coming to you just through the people that you know now that's why for me nine months in ashram it's just been experience after experience that starts building you you start feeling a vibe in you and it's like wait this is this is life figured out i don't even know how to put it in some technical form but it just feels right now this is the assets of being in ashram what you feel about yourself, the betterment that you've gained. That, when I'm with these individuals and I know I want to better my life, there's something just about being around them that leads to this final conversation. Nothing fancy in the final conversations. They don't give me one-liners to go away with. Life isn't meant to be in one line. Life is just about opening up from experience to experience. It's not about having it figured out. It's literally when things are coming at you, hey, there's a build inside of you, just to go away and you experience it for what it is and it starts adding only value to your life. Everything that comes at you, even the downtime situations that you get. Now, all these assets, whatever you gain from experience, it all leads up to something we call eternal freedom. Something on the inside is starting to become unaffected by any form of negativity. You can't keep getting lost by just seeing some people. A lot of the time we see someone, we like what they've got and then we start doing what they've got, but we see another person, we like doing what they've got and we just start getting lost. 
And once you find yourself, that's the greatest asset. And that as a whole, it's something that I'll go away with. Hopefully, I still do manage to do some vlogs once in a while. But for my time here, two months, the amount of memories I've gained, that's gonna stick. That's literally, that's, that's here. Now the people that have been around, the people that have helped me, all of that, that's my family. That's literally, my family keeps growing. I've got my actual family, I've got my God-given family. All of this, it starts adding up and, and these connections, they start building. And one day you look back on your life and it's just like, I've got some big thank yous to give, some real big thank yous.